that's the promise of America, that with grit and determination, all of us can achieve our dreams. Our nation's history is the story of that promise being made more real in fits and starts for an ever-widening circle of Americans. From the Civil War to the Civil Rights Movement, from women's suffrage to the continuing fight for equal pay, for equal work, progress has been far too slow, but it has been real. Through your education, you understand our current challenges and our history. But it's not just what you learn that matters. It's what you do with what you learn. And I believe one of the most important values of the education that you've received is how you will apply the knowledge and skills that you've gained to one of the most important roles of your life, the role of citizen. So today I'd like to talk about the joyous, yes, joyous responsibility we have as citizens to improve our communities and our nation. I want to show you how joy, empathy, and hope should drive how you approach your role as citizen in order to strengthen our society, strengthen our democracy, and ensure that we make progress on issues that you care about. First, I want to reassure you that you're up to the task. Your education here at University of Memphis has prepared you for good citizenship. You've learned to work collectively to solve problems, to appreciate diversity in opinions, ideas, and people. These skills and dispositions are vital to becoming a contributing member of a community. You've also learned to grapple with the hard parts of our history, the legacy of which is with us today, including slavery and racism and sexism and violence and discrimination. But you also have come to understand that as citizens, your engagement can make a difference on these issues. We can be better than that history. And indeed, education's role in this country has long been to prepare Americans to contribute to our democracy. Thomas Jefferson wrote that through education, Americans must come to understand their duties to their neighbors and country, to know their rights, and to exercise with order and justice those rights they retain. Our founders define those rights as life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. And while the America of the Founders did not reflect the ideal that all are created equal, we can be proud that our nation continues to work toward that ideal. But the thing we must never forget about equal opportunity and our rights is that they exist only through vigilant and active citizenship. Citizenship must protect these things. And I'm not just talking about marches and protests, although they are essential. Standing up for our rights also means sitting down at community meetings and engaging with neighbors. It means joining campaigns and running for office yourself. It means pulling the disenfranchised up by providing access to health care in impoverished communities or teaching children in struggling schools. Today, too often people think of citizenship as a dusty relic. But this challenge isn't new. John Dewey, an early pioneer in American education, wrote, the trouble is that we've taken our democracy for granted. We have thought and acted as if our forefathers had founded it once and for all. We have forgotten that it has to be enacted anew in every generation. And that's what I call upon all of you, graduates, to do, to refresh and redefine for a new generation what it means to be a good citizen.